we are going to make a tessellation. You're going to need the cardboard that I gave you, a pen, scissors, ruler, markers, and a piece of paper. Let's get these out of the way. The first thing I want you to do is take your piece of cardboard, cardstock, and you're actually going to measure and cut it in half. You want to make it into a rectangle that's smaller. And I gave you a larger piece so that you could make two of these tessellations. So you're going to cut it there. I have already made a smaller piece. Now, what you're going to do with this smaller piece is that you are going to draw some lines on it, and then we are going to cut the lines out. I'm going to, you're going to do some sort of mark across the top, and then some along the side. And we are going to uh, then cut them out and maneuver them and tape them back on to make a tessellation page. I'll show you. First, let's make the lines. I did a, just a simple wavy line there. And a simple wavy line there. Now, I have already got one cut out so that you don't have to watch me cut it all out. Now, here is the simple part once you have your pieces. Have a piece of tape ready, but we're going to take the top part here and move it straight across to the other side, making sure that the distance here and the distance here is going to be the same distance there. Without flipping it over or anything, we just move it across. And we check to make sure to the best of our ability that they are the same. When you're happy with it, Take your piece of tape and tape it down. Now, with the other side, we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to move it across to that side, keeping the distance there and there the same. Checking and looking. Let me get my piece of tape. And I'm going to tape it down. Now, I have a tessellation piece that I have made out of cardstock cardboard, a piece of um, cereal box. Now, I want to flip it around and try to figure out a shape that it might be. I think that this is going to be a space alien with a backpack on. I can see his head and his arm and his two legs and this weird little backpack. I'm going to get my piece of paper and I'm going to start tracing my space alien and we're going to make multiples of this. Just trace around it, holding it as still as you can. And making sure that you get all parts traced. There it is. Now. I can take that and I can move it across there. And this is what's called tessellating. It is an exact copy. And again, I am going to trace around my shape. Until I get it all done. And then I will move it again. And I will keep doing this over and over 
until I have filled up the page. You can see I can go down below as well and trace around it and it fits into the pattern. It's a perfect match because I started with a simple shape, geometric shape. This, in this case I used a rectangle. Triangles can be used, squares are used over and over again, and hexagons are a really good shape as well. But I want to fill up my page and then you can decorate as you see fit. I'm going to show you an example of a finished and decorated piece that I made a few years ago. This is a piece that I made a few years ago and I cut it up, maneuvered the pages and put it together again. And I turned it around and around until I decided that it looked like a shape with a face. I saw a mouth, I saw a big nose, I even drew the eye on here so I would remember it, and I thought it was some wild hair. And there was even a skinny neck right by a chin. And when I took a piece of paper, in this case a large piece of paper, and I copied it on over and over again, I was able to make a drawing that everything tessellated together. No matter where I moved it, it matched and it tessellated. It's a fancy word for making tiles, making spaces go over and over again. And then I finished it up by adding some color. I don't know quite what I would call it, but I was happy with the end results.